You found Striker of Enyo, and the following is an excerpt from my main video, I Play Every Xbox Live Arcade Game Part 1, a massive three-hour experience that I encourage you to check out if you like what you see here. This is just a small segment, or it may be a collection of content from that larger video. Check my channel for more. Anna, Extended Edition. The original Anna released on July 2012 on Windows and was criticized for the absurdity of its narrative, having a complex interface, a poor translation, and the difficulty of its puzzles. So two years later, we got Anna Extended Edition. It has been given a overhaul based on the feedback from the players of the original, and it features more hours of gameplay with more environments, more puzzles, additional gameplay features, enhanced graphics, and an improved interface. I will remind you that the Xbox One launch was November of 2013. The Xbox 360 version of Anna came out 10 months after. I kept looking through several reviews saying that this version was a definite improvement over the original. It was more understandable with a stronger narrative, more content, more accessible puzzles, and blah, blah, blah. I figured, okay, this should be pretty refined then. So I started the game and apparently I wake up in a dream. I really hate the way this game is designed. It plays like a 3D point and click adventure game. I don't like the bloom effect in the starting area at all. Have you ever accidentally turned on light mode? Yeah, it's kind of like that. So I need to get into the house. The main door is shut. It has some mechanical thing to it, but it's not working. I look around. No other doors let me in. I try interacting with anything. I try the help system. In the help and options, there is a help system that you can turn on or off. It doesn't help. It gives me the same response. Then I find a door under the stairs. Finally, this will get me in. There's one item. I'm still stuck. The area is not big. There's nothing obvious to click on. There's a pile of rocks, but I can't interact with it. I found a leaf. It's been eight minutes. I know I'm missing something. It's only a trial. I try my knife. I try using every inventory item on each other. It's now been 12 minutes. So I just looked up a guide. Apparently that pile of rocks, you need to hover the cursor over the flat pebble. When the cursor changes to a hand, you can then drag it away from the pile of rocks by moving the left analog stick and while holding A. Well, how the hell was I supposed to figure that out? The game doesn't tell you that clicking and dragging objects is even a thing. I didn't know that option existed. Does this sound like fun to you? I'm skipping some steps for brevity's sake, but you will find another gear and combine them. Combine them into the little spring, and now you finally have a repaired gear. Shove it in that hole, and now you can enter the sawmill. Why do I need to go through all of this just to open a door? Remember, this is a dream. I spent 15 minutes picking up objects, looking at them in the menus, trying to combine them or use them on something. I looked around while inside, but I mean, I was done. I decided to leave the sawmill through the front door, and then it gives me a prompt, but I didn't care. And then I got a secret ending. No, seriously, it gave me one of the official endings for the game in the trial. These visuals are weak. I also found out the game has random events and certain time limits, which will prevent you from getting some endings. You apparently have a short time frame to complete many actions before a random event occurs, and I don't think the game lets you know this is even a mechanic. This is supposed to have horror elements to it, but the puzzles are so poorly constructed that it took me way too long just to get in that first building. The reviews are better on PC, but both the 360 and PlayStation 3 versions don't even have enough reviews to have a rating on Metacritic. It's a 3 out of 10. I might buy a copy before the 360 store closes just so I can do a video on it later, but for $10 I really can't recommend it to anybody unless you kind of liked what you saw. If that's the case, good luck. If you want to watch the main video that this segment was taken from, I play every Xbox Live Arcade game part one, well, you can click on the entire thing over on the left side of the screen. Or you can check the playlist on the right side for more content and more stuff that's in that series. As always, thanks for watching.